um, there's really not an easy opportunity for Trey to just go in and start a few games. Um, if you look at the beginning of the season, that might be their easiest stretch. They face the Lions, the Eagles, and the Packers in their first three games. Um, so if you're trying to put Trey Lance in a position to win and you're going to be sitting Jimmy Garoppolo, it's not like there's an easy opportunity to do it. I think the one thing we do have to look out for is that the trade deadline is, I believe, about week eight. That's where it was last year. I don't know how they've adjusted it um, with the league this year. But, yeah, it's, it's going to just uh, – I think that'll be one of those points that we'll be looking at and, and we'll say, okay, do we think the team can offload Jimmy? But um, besides that, I mean, there's, and I'll let you go in a sec, Grant. Sorry, you were just disconnecting, but I think you're good now. Um, there is a good spot later on in the schedule for a trade to start. If you look, week 11, they play the Jaguars. Week 12, they play Minnesota. Then it's at Seattle, which might be tough. But the game after that is at Cincinnati. So if you're looking at a four-game stretch, that's not a bad four-game stretch to have your first four starts. Yeah. But, I mean, if I were Kyle Shanahan uh, trying to plan this out for Trey Lance, I mean, that's not how I would do, like, make the decision of when he needs to start. Like, what I would do is send him to Tom – send him to a throwing doctor. He needs to go to a throwing doctor. Go to Tom House, Dr. Tom, and say, Tom – uh, how much time, how many reps, how much time on task is it going to take Trey Lance to internalize? And maybe that's a hard question to answer, but he's no one would be more equipped to answer it than Tom House. If Tom House says, man, this is going to take him X amount of reps a day, maybe, you know, he's going to need a season. He's going to need half a season. He's going to need six months, 12 months, 18 months. Then that's the timeline. Then he shouldn't play before then. And if Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt, then throw in Josh Rosen uh, because this guy's your future. And if the leading throwing doctor in the world says he can do it, but he's going to need X amount of time. Commit to that. Commit to that. Because if you throw him in before then he's reverting, I guarantee it. We've seen it. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're totally on, on spot with that. I think even with this question, I was just trying to see if there's an, an easy, no, it's a great question. It is the question. It's, it's the question this year, but I think it's, it's a trick answer, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's a trick answer. You got because what, what's the most important thing is Trey Lance's future, not 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 even this season, right? Really, you can't sacrifice Trey Lance's future to get through a stretch of this year because Jimmy got hurt. I I absolutely you know? agree with that, especially yeah. on, on this basis. This team is not as good as the 2019 team, and people think they're going to win a lot of games. So so with me, the only upside of starting Jimmy Garoppolo is if you think you can win a Super Bowl with him. I don't think they can. I, so. We'll see. It, it, it's tough. On the one hand, like you're saying, it's just a matter of Trey when he's ready, when yeah. people say he's ready. Uh, I mean, like, years, honestly, if Trey's ready at week four and Jimmy Garoppolo's played well weeks one through three, see you, dude. It's Trey time. It's all about Trey. It's not about Jimmy. It's no. all about Trey. Yeah. No, and, the, and I think the only instance where it even becomes about Jimmy this year is if he gets hurt. Let's be right. real. I mean, that's yeah. the biggest factor affecting the team this year. I mean, 